Hey guys, welcome to part four of the basics of SC2013 modding. Today we're going to take a look, uh, look at something you can modify instead of telling you what you're not supposed to do, uh, what you need to download, etc. So why don't we get started? Um, what you're going to be modifying today is how I don't know how to describe this. How something snaps using a snap point, I, 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 I guess that's the best way I can explain it. Uh, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about once we get into this, and I'll be able to explain it better as we move along. So, when we go ahead and open our packages, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to scroll down, go to simcitygame.package. And I'm going to stop the video here for a second so I can look for a file that would be good for us to use. All right, hey guys, here we are at the bus stop property uh, file. I figured that this one would be the best for us to use. So what you're gonna wanna do is simply click on this, export to package, and we'll name it test. Now we're not going to go ahead and go there right away because there's an, uh, there's another property file that you need. Now look through these until you come across eco game tool target unit. Eco game tool target unit. Now this is the bus stops or any object in the game's uh, model file. So it has all the model details in it. It does not have the actual model itself, but it contains the model details and basically tells the model what it's supposed to do, etc. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go over here to this pencil icon, you're gonna copy the instance ID, close out of that, clear the filter, and plug it back in right here. And it'll be this one, the one that looks like a building. Anytime you see this one, uh, the one that looks like a building is the model details for an object. So you're gonna export to package and we'll call this one. All right, now why don't we head on to our package. All right, before we can get started on what I actually want to show you, I'm going to show you how you can combine two package files. Okay. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is go to File, click, click Add Packages, and you're going to want to scroll down to 1, or if you chose to name it something else, scroll down and get it. And you're going to select that, and you're going to select open. And voila, it will appear right there. Cool. Right? Okay. So, here's what I intend on, like, okay. All right. Okay. 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 Now, there is one value in here called Eco Game Tool Plop Snap to Path Group that defines how the bus stop will uh, snap to a snap point. So if it's under this instance ID, it is telling the bus stop that it snaps to, what is it, the sidewalk? Yeah, it would snap to the sidewalk. But if we gave this a new instance ID, it would tell it that it would, it's supposed to snap somewhere else. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna toy around with this, just so you can learn that, you know, if you wanna change how something snaps, this is how you do it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and save this. Now, in order to save two or more values, for property file, all you have to do, hold down the shift key and click the second one 
and these two will be selected. Let go of the shift key, right click, click export to package, and oh dang, my my keyboard does this sometimes. There we go. And uh, test one. Now you're just gonna go through, delete this one, and delete the one package file like this. Now we are going to head back into the SimCity game package file and we are going to take a look at another object in the game that does not snap like the bus stop does. So I'll be back in a second. Alright, hey guys, here we are at the Public Works download page. I have taken you to this basic, basically because I could not find what I was looking for in the SimCity game package file. But this file has something that we need. So just go ahead and download it. Click the green download button. Make sure you're signed in over here. Agree and download. And just download it. And then install it into your SimCity data folder. And we will be able to move on. Alright, hey guys. Here we are at the... Uh, with the public works file opens up. You're going to want to go ahead and click on this one. Which shows that it is the main property file for it. And you're going to take a look over here and, uh, until you find the Eco Game Tool Plop Snap to Path Group. And over here it will say Parks. Now that tells the Public Works building that it's supposed to plop like a park, which means that it just simply snaps to the roads. Okay? And, however, if we were to just go in here take this instance ID, go back to our bus stop and change the Eco Game Tool Plop Snap to Path Group there, it wouldn't it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't be completely done. If you would go into the game after only doing that, you would see that the bus stop would be unploppable. So I'm going to show you how to make a completely ploppable uh, with changing its snap path group. Okay, so we're not going to go ahead and copy this yet, mainly because I want to look inside the model details of the Public Works building. Now, if we scroll down, if you scroll down, you'll eventually come across a value that says SC unit snaps to frontage. Now, it, it looks like it, it says, uh, it, it's basically what it says. Frontage means it snaps to the road. Okay, and it has a check mark next to it, meaning that it should do that. Okay, okay, so we're going to go ahead at, at looking at this. This is what we're going to add to the bus stops menu. And uh, we're going to get rid of the one that is already in the bus stops model details, which is something different from this. Okay? But first, we'll go back and we will copy this instance ID because we're going to need it. Okay? Copy. And go ahead and open up your file. Okay, so now take the instance ID you got from the public works, go over to the pencil icon, get rid of what's there, replace it with this, and then go over here and scroll down until you come across a the value a value that, right now I'm looking for it, yep, here it is, here it is, okay, come on, wait until you get one, uh, it's called SC unit snaps to sidewalk, we do not, we do not want this one, and now I'm going to show you how to delete a value, some values, if you delete them, it will cause some sort of pack to crash, because you're not supposed to delete them, but this is one that we can delete without having any problems, so I Click delete this property. 
And we don't want this one here either because it's saying snap on road. We don't want it to snap on the road per se. So we're going to get rid of this one too. Okay. We select delete property after right clicking and select yes. Then you're going to go up here to this little toolbar up here. You're going to click add property. Now you're going to get this pop up here and it's going to say property and then it's going to say type. Now property we want is SC unit snaps to furniture. So all you have to do is type that in there. Oop. Until it pops up like that. And you click inside the search box to confirm it and then go down to type. Okay. We're going to want a bool property. Now a bool property is basically a checkbox and it, it's basically a yes or no thing for the value to do. So if say there's a bool property in there and it's unchecked, it's told that no, it's not supposed to do that. But if you check it, it's told yes, it's supposed to do that. Okay. And is there a, go ahead and ignore that for now. We're going to get to that later on in videos and click save and it will appear at the very bottom right here okay we want to check it and there we go now it should snap like the public works building does now you may not be able to see it that well uh due to how small the bus stop is compared to the public works building but you'll notice a change and it should snap if you did everything right, it will snap. Okay, so if you want to keep this, go ahead and save it like I showed you how to in the previous video. And yeah, that's all there is to it. Oh wait, no. Uh, you, you can't do it. You can't do the saving the same way I showed you in the last video or second video. So just go ahead and click the shift key. Hold it down, select that, right click, export to package, and we'll go with 00 test 2. Okay, and make sure when you're saving, you delete the old file so that nothing gets messed up in your game. Okay, guys, I hope this video helped you in some way. I know it was a bit confusing. I know I wasn't doing that good of a job at showing you what you were supposed to do. But generally what this video was trying to teach you was just how to change how certain objects in the game are plopped or snapped. Okay, and just how to change that, okay? Once you get used to it, it will get uh, very simple and it'll almost become methodical, okay? All right, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you didn't enjoy it, give it a dislike leave some constructive criticism that's always appreciated and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed my videos and follow me on twitter at captain0202 okay guys i will talk to you later either part five of this series is coming or part five or part four of building something awesome okay all right talk to you later